Hi everyone, my name is Shah and I'd like to talk about the top 10 Mac programs. So let's begin. So when you first get a Mac, uh, typically you'll find that uh, although iLife is great, it's fantastic, uh, and Mac OS is very easy and very nice to use, there's some little things that you might want to do that uh, you can't seem to figure out how to do. Let's say for instance you want to play WMB files or you want to use uh, your old Microsoft PowerPoint documents on the Mac. So, of course, you can buy commercial applications to solve this problem, but uh, we've also got a lot of free software that's available that'll do the job. And I'm going to talk to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to cover some of these free software that you can get to enhance your Mac. So the first of all is uh, NeoOffice. Now, NeoOffice is built on uh, OpenOffice code. It supports Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and it's a free download. So I'm going to show you very quickly how NeoOffice looks like. Okay. So that's NeoOffice running. You can see I have a new spreadsheet document. You can see it looks pretty much like a Microsoft Excel, and you have a new presentation document and that looks pretty much like uh, PowerPoint okay so new office it's free download it's very stable it's very powerful now next is uh, for instant messaging uh, you know you'll have uh, things like Yahoo Messenger you'll have things like MSN Messenger but I like to use this program called ADM because uh, when I use this program called ADM, I'm able to connect to multiple networks at the same time. So let's just very quickly launch ADM. And as you can see from this menu, it's actually trying to connect to Mac.com, uh, Yahoo, uh, MSN, and Gmail all at the same time. So that's ADM. Now, of course, if you use Skype, there's a Mac version of Skype. I didn't use Skype myself, but uh, the latest version is really quite nice. You can download it from Skype's website. And next I'm going to talk about is Darwine. Now, some of you are web designers and uh, you might want to see how a web page looks like in Internet Explorer, but you don't want to install Windows onto your Mac. You just want to run IE. So Darwine is a software that uh, simulates the Wine API on the Mac and enables you to run Windows software without having to install Windows. So that's Darwine. But if you have to run Windows, then you could buy the commercial solutions such as uh, Parallels and uh, Fusion. But if you just want to run a very simple program such as mm, Microsoft Exchange, say, or anything that doesn't require heavy graphics processing, well, you can run VirtualBox. And I've got VirtualBox installed here. So you can see I've got uh, OpenSolaris, Ubuntu, and uh, WinXP here, and I can start WinXP. There it goes. So it's really nice because I don't have to restart my Mac in order to use a Windows program. So we'll let that run for a bit and come back to it later. Now, Perian is a software that allows you to play many different kinds of video codecs on the Mac, like a .dbx format and so on. So I'm going to show you some details. These are all the file formats that uh, Perian supports. So it's nice that you could do it with just one codec. And this installs into your system preferences. So when I go to system preferences, you can see there's a Perian prep pane. Oh, there goes the Windows. So this is Perrin. 
and it enables me to support enables my Mac to support all these kinds of video formats. Then we have Flip for Mac. Now the interesting thing about Flip for Mac is that it's free. It supports Windows media formats not only when you download files, but it also supports websites that uh, have embedded Windows media format video. So that's really kind of cool. Now, if you would like to download and install, if you'd like to download and install, I'm sorry, um, if you'd like to play movies without having to download and install all these different kinds of codecs, then you need VideoLAN. So VideoLAN is a universal video player. It doesn't require that you install Parian and Flip for Mac first, it just plays whatever video format that you want. Now, I used to use this software called iSquint pretty extensively. It's a very nice software which allows me to uh, convert almost any kind of video into iPod format, so I can put that on my iPod, but it's been discontinued. So, um, the, the guy who wrote iSquint, right, he has actually created a couple of projects, and uh, this is called Film Redux and Punivit, which you download. But these are not uh, application programs. Actually, you have to download them and compile them using Xcode, so it's not always the easiest thing to do. So you can still find iSquint. A lot of Mac users have iSquint, so you might want to ask somebody else who has a copy for iSquint because it's really nice. It converts a lot of different file formats into iPod-ready format. So very quickly, just before we move on, that's VirtualBox running. So you can see I've got Windows on my Mac, and I can go full screen if I want to. Right? So let's just turn that off for a while. Now one of the things that always bugs me is when I have a lot of things on my hard disk and I don't know exactly where the space is going because it says something like I've got 90 gigs of stuff on my hard disk but where is it being used? What's taking up all the space? So you can try what size. So this is a shareware that shows you exactly where the hard disk is being used. Then we have Google Earth. There's a Mac version of Google Earth. I'm not sure whether I've installed it. Let's have a check. Nope, I haven't installed Google. But if you have Google Earth, it's utterly cool. You can actually um, explore Malaysia, even down to street names now. And there's an iPod version, if you want. Now, where do I get all the links to this software? So the easiest way to get all the links to this software is to go to Simon Elliott's website. That's web.mac.com slash Simon Elliott slash Simon Elliott at mac.com software.html. And as you can see, there is a ton of software available for the Mac that is utterly free. All of this is free. So if you have a particular need, chances are it's fulfilled here. So go ahead and go to this page, that's web.mac.com slash simonelliot slash simonelliot at mac.com slash software.html. Feel free to download all this stuff. So if you'd like more information, you can contact me at shah at opensos.net or shah at mac.com. Thanks for listening.